Hello, this is a quick video demonstration of the CTrader Professional Trading Software Widgets. Um, it's a whole collection of widgets that you can use with the CTrader trading platform. Um, and if you buy this package, you get the whole lot in one go. Um, we also offer the ability that you can purchase them individually if you don't want the whole lot. They're at a lot lower price, so you can buy them separately. And there's, some of them are free. Um, if you're interested in this product, if you just go to clickalgo.com and under software, you've got CTrader trading software. You should be able to find it easy enough. Okay, and I'll just go to the CTrader platform. So on the CTrader platform here, you can see um, just a standard chart on the screen. Um, and what you'll do is when you purchase the software or download the trial version or the, some of the free versions, you'll just um, double click on it, it will install it as a CBOT. Uh, you'll then open up the CBOT window from CTrader. It's easy enough to see us on the left. And you just drag it onto the chart. That's pretty easy. CTrader will show you how to do that. Um, so once you've got it on the chart, you'll just see it down here like this as a, a little play button to start it. So when you click play or start, I'll actually start the product and the first thing you'll see on the screen is the small widget window okay so um, you can obviously you can have the background in black or white so you can choose the color of your background and it works on either one sort of thing so um, if you're familiar with white background you know you can change it I prefer the black background so okay first thing you do is you can see up here it says the uh, tab says uh, all USD so um, whichever currency symbol or whichever symbol you're using that you launch the CBOT from, that would be the trading, uh, all the widgets will be related to that symbol, okay? So you've got uh, a few, I'll go through the various widgets you've got on here. So you've got the trading panel here. If you click on it again, we've got separate videos that explains this in more details, but I'm just gonna go through each one individually, but not into too much detail. If you do wanna find out more, just go onto the main uh, channel on YouTube and you should look at it and you better find out videos for each one individually that tells you more details but this is just going to show you a uh, brief review okay so if i click on this now you've got a few things on this one you've got um you can turn one, one click settings off this will just trade on a set lot size or volume size it auto calculates for you so if i only want to do 10,000 uh, 1,000 volume it'll auto calculate the lots for me if i click on the little man again uh, it'll, it'll minimize that screen so every time i do a buy or a sell um, it will actually execute the orders for you with that lot size okay so also you can have one click settings and it does the same for that so with one click settings you can just go into there you can open up a risk management panel this is also explained in the other video so I'm not going to go into it in more detail you can set all your risk risk management here like stealth orders trailing stops and other features you can put onto it okay so that means that all of these settings every time you click buy or sell it'll apply these settings for it you can then minimize the screen as well you can drag this anywhere on the screen it's a very small um, panel to use or a widget and every time you click buy or sell it'll apply those settings okay so that's that one then you've got your account information that only relates to uh, this currency symbol or this symbol that's on the screen so it'll tell you the current spread it'll tell you the grow daily profit and loss so that's useful if you have a target for the day and it'll tell you how many buyers you have there's five then three sellers and how much profit you're in for each one so this is very useful if you're doing single symbol trading and you can have multiple panels open if you're doing uh, trading on multiple symbols Okay, so actually I'm gonna leave that one open as well to show you the whole lot. Then we've got the volatility um, widget here. It's just loading up. Now this one's actually showing you the volatility or the depth of market for both uh, buyers and sellers for this for this uh, symbol, which is, shows you how many in millions is there and shows you the light, the one that lights up shows you who's in control, the buyers or the sellers. And down the bottom here, you've got your volatility, how much volatile the actual symbol is at the moment. When the market's moving fast, this dial will move up really fast. And you can set an alert on as well. So if I put that to zero, I put the alert to zero, you can see it goes off. You can turn the sound alarm off. So the whole idea is when the volatility goes high, it'll actually go off and, uh, with an audible alarm that you can just run back to your charts and see what's going on, or if you're looking at another chart. So this is a good idea for capturing uh, volatile markets. So you've got that one. Uh, then you've got your live Forex rates. This is pretty standard um, widget you get from FX Pro. So we've put it inside a little window here. Uh, it's just loading up. Uh, while it's loading up, I'll load up the other one. You've got this one here, which is um, buyers and sellers. That should have loaded up by now. There it is, it took a bit of time. So here you've got, uh, on this one, you've got position management. So it's a very small widget you can put right close to the price there and you can close all, close buyers, close sellers, close winners, losers. And then you can have one click button press for closing say 25%. So if position is open, you can do partial closes. Again, you know, again, like I say, you can find out more about this in more detail in the separate videos. Uh, and you've got 
here it's a forex market calendar so this tells you the up and up and coming news releases that are coming on you can put this full screen so you've got full screen tool to use you can minimize it to any size you want and put it anywhere on the chart it'll always stay on top so you could have this on a separate window or on your chart and manage the news releases okay so I'll put that one down in the corner oops and then you have market trading clocks this is the local time if I open up another market trading clock I think there's 20 something uh, clocks to use you've got server time Chicago uh, markets open at the moment it's Tokyo Singapore so if I go to <coughs> Singapore the little icon that comes up on the top left means the markets open so this you've got a market trading clocks here really you can have as many of these open as you want and leave them on the screen um, and then the last one is just a help file this is just open up the uh, web page for your help file on top of all of these um, you have got um, you can have uh, where did it go oh there you've got the stealth orders so if there's any stealth orders open this panel will show you that all the stealth orders that are actually running from the one click settings when if you click on this and you can set your risk management okay so all of this you've got in the trading collection or you can buy them individually I hope you found that was useful and if you just want to close it you just close the single one down and it will close all the panels down so you can have all of these open for every symbol that you're using so it's, it's specifically if you're doing I mean it's very useful for scalping anyway that's what it's very good for okay thank you